again on the ground, untied and completely empty inside. All I could feel was pain. Everyone was dead. I was now alone in the world. I felt a desire to hear their voices one last time on Daddy's recorder in the dark room. Provided the soldiers hadn't destroyed it, that is. Now I will wake her up and she will confess. You can bet on it. What are you doing with your father's gun? It's dangerous. Stop it. Talk. Tell me everything now. Tell me what you have done. Okay, okay. Calm down. I will tell you everything. I found that strange note when I woke up. And I immediately realized that something was wrong. Something was up with you aside from your usual quirks. I came to check, but you weren't in your bedroom. You had spoken about the lake, and I got worried, so I called your father, and we went to see what was going on. We found you sitting in your underwear at the side of the lake. You kept saying that nothing had happened, and you kept repeating things like that. I hugged you to try and make you feel better, but you did not speak again for days. What is happening to you? You should tell me what's going on. I'm not going to that loony bin. I would never have wanted this, but I'm afraid you will harm yourself further. You were really hurting yourself in front of the piano that night. What else could we do? You killed my sister and now you're afraid because I found out. So you're making up stories, aren't you? But I'm not falling for it this time. What are you saying? Your sister? Please, no. I was not well. I didn't know what I was saying. So many years have passed. You were little then. I thought everyone had forgotten that nonsense. Shut up! Don't speak. Don't say anything else. What are you doing, my daughter? Why do you want to ruin your life? I'm sorry. It wasn't me who just shot Mummy. It wasn't me. I didn't know who I was anymore. Everything had fallen apart. I was afraid of myself. My God, it was terrible. I had always been convinced that I was too good for myself, but then... I had become my own enemy. I was the danger. What should I have done? I thought about the puppet theatre in my old room. There I could find something in myself, perhaps. So I rushed to go play with it again. Mummy nearly died giving birth to me. This is what remains in my memory of my mother's, nanny's and father's stories. I remember little to nothing of my childhood at home. I have to try though. Maybe the important events I should know are right there. How are you, madam? I feel a sharp pain. Do you need anything? I can feel it. The time has come. Mine, mine, mine. 
Everything is ready. Help! Something is wrong! It is help! Irene is not well. How are you, honey? I'm getting weaker and weaker. Doctor, hurry! Arena is sick! Don't worry, Irene. The pain you feel is natural. Push, Irene, push. Push, Irene, push. The baby is born. I feel sick. I feel myself wasting away. It's going to be okay. Poor mummy. She has suffered so much. I have hurt her so much ever since I was born. <laughs> Mummy, I have to pee. What do you want me to do about it? Mummy, I'm hungry. It's not time to eat. Stop being a crybaby. <laughs> Mummy, I'm thirsty. You're going to annoy me. You just drank. <laughs> Mummy, I'm sleepy. <laughs> That's enough! Go to your room! <laughs> Get out of my sight! I can stand you no longer! <laughs> ah! How dare you! I will make you pay for that! My hands are not enough. You need to learn properly this time. Sorry, it was an accident, Mummy. Please don't hit me. 
Tam! Tam! This is just a game. Is it only a game? I believe the white lady said that my lost memories would return in the place of my happy childhood. This is the only place I have ever been truly happy. Are these my memories then? Is this actually my life? on my head stop complaining or you will get punished Martha don't you want to play with your sister Julia play with your sister Sorry, Mummy. I didn't do it on purpose. I don't believe you. You're trying to make fun of me. You did it on purpose. What do you have to say for yourself? I'm angry with you. I will beat manners into you, you stupid little girl. Come with me now. Sorry, Mummy. I'm so sorry. Come with me. I will put you in your place, girl. Sorry, Mummy. I won't do it anymore. I promise. Too late. These false tears won't help you. Stay still! Now I'll make you want to bark. Leave my dog alone! There's no point screaming, stupid girl. No, Mummy, please. You're insane! Sure. Now I'll show you how insane I am. Help, Daddy, help! Screaming won't work. Your father is not here like usual. Eat it. I won't 
teach him. I said eat. I was beginning to remember, but I was so scared to remember too much, especially all at once. I didn't have time to guess exactly what happened. It was making me too upset. Pulling out those memories was like trying to pull out a tooth on your own. Almost impossible and far too painful. The white lady told me that the church is a safe place and home to its children. Donatilio, my priest, I have to talk to him. I have to call him on the telephone. Donatilio speaking. Who is it? Father, help me. They're all dead. Daddy, Mummy, everyone. Julia, come to me immediately. Don't stay alone. It's dangerous. Come to town. You can stay here with me and we can talk about everything. Okay? Okay, Father. But first I want to play with my puppets for a while. Julia, don't be silly. Come to church right away.